I think one player in the NBA that has the opportunity to be the biggest what if has to be Zion Williamson. When Zion Williamson got drafted into the NBA, he was arguably the most hyped up prospect since LeBron James. And this was rightfully so. He was a great player and he was flashy and he was something that everyone loved. But if we flash about five years later, everyone is starting to turn on Zion Williamson. And to be honest, it's for a good reason. Not too long ago, I made a video about Ben Simmons and the premise of the video was that Ben Simmons deserved to fail because he was sitting out for no justified reason. From the research we did over here at Specs Media, it just seemed like Ben Simmons did not want to play, not to mention on the court he was becoming a liability. And some of the comments did tell me like, hey, all of this is true, but maybe we should give him a little bit more time, he has a back injury, and I do agree to a point. I mean, there's no real proof that Ben Simmons can play basketball, he's not working out, he's not doing some flashy dunks on the court before the games. For all we know, Ben Simmons hasn't touched a basketball in months and really doesn't seem like he's going to anytime soon. So what does Ben Simmons have to do with Zion Williamson? Well, if you can't tell, these situations are kind of similar. Both players were really hyped up coming into the NBA. Both players have also been injury prone and they've been kind of a what if. Also, both players were pretty talented at one point. I would say Ben Simmons had a couple good seasons, but then obviously he just hasn't been the same. But Zion Williamson, when he plays, has been statistically a great player. But that's the thing. It's what if, because it seems like Zion Williamson is getting injured just as much as Ben Simmons, if not more. In the 29 games that Zion Williamson played this year, he averaged about 20 26, 7, and 5. On top of that, the Pelicans were one of the best teams in the NBA, being the first seed in the Western Conference. Zion was also playing so good that he got voted to be a Western Conference All-Star starter. Yeah, he didn't get voted to just the All-Star team. He was starting in the game, but unfortunately, he was injured, so he didn't actually play. Hell, even in the 2020 season, where he was pretty healthy for a majority of the year, he averaged about 27 points per game. So when Zion is healthy and playing, he is a great player. He's a great player on defense. He's a great finisher. He can obviously score you a lot of points and he makes a really big impact on the game as a whole. I know it might be kind of crazy for me to say the Pelicans were the first seed at the beginning of the season and you might say oh well so was Utah and so was Portland. Yeah and to be fair those were only for like five to ten games but for about 30 games the Pelicans were the top of the west. So my point is when Zion Williamson is on the court only great things happen but that's an issue because he's not on the court. The only reason I'm talking about this is the playing game that happened a couple days ago. So it seems like out of random every time the Pelicans are so close to making the playoffs and they're in a playing situation that Zion could possibly be returning, but he doesn't. It happened last year when the Pelicans were playing the Suns and the reports that Zion was going to play. And this year, there was actually a lot of speculation that Zion could have made a return to the playing. Seems like every other day we were getting these confusing reports and then we saw footage of Zion working out and he looked completely fine. I mean, we could even go to the day of the playing where Zion was doing these crazy dunks and he looked just like his explosive self. And I get it, you don't want to rush an injury. I mean, he's been out for a long time, so clearly it's it's not just a small injury. This is something that you're going to want to take with precaution, but I feel like the Pelicans have done just that. And I wouldn't be mad necessarily if Zion Williamson did not do a press conference where he said this. How close are you to feeling like you'll be ready to play? Uh, I mean, physically I'm fine. Now it's just a matter of uh, like when I feel like Zion. Um, you know, I, I know the atmosphere I'd be entering. Uh, based off like the playoff experience. Uh, so now it's just a matter of when I feel like Zion. If you thought the backlash that Ben Simmons has been getting for the past couple years was bad, well, you are gonna wanna see this. It seems like within this past week, the narrative about Zion Williamson has started to change. And from the looks of it, there's a real possibility that Zion is gonna be the next Ben Simmons. I mean, these situations are eerily similar. It's kind of scary. Even using the, I don't feel like myself and that's why I'm not playing line. Now I said this last time for Ben Simmons and I'll say it again. I don't know Zion. I'm not inside his head. I don't know what he's thinking and maybe he's going through a lot. I mean, you got to think about this. Zion Williamson is a young kid at the end of the day. He is one of the most talked about players in the NBA when he's healthy, and he had a lot of pressure coming into him in the NBA. And as far as I'm concerned, he is basically the franchise piece of a team that has a bright basketball future. So I know there are pressures of that, and I know Ben Simmons, he had the same pressures, but the problem is if you can play, why don't you play? Now, it's no secret that Zion has been injury prone basically his entire career, and it made sense. When he came into the NBA, his 
his weight to height ratio was confusing. He was overweight and at the end of the day, his body was not going to last, but in the future, he did end up getting healthy. This past off season, he got in the weight room, he got a personal chef, and he looked way better. When I saw that footage of Zion working out and looking 10 times leaner, I was like, oh shit, things are gonna get bad. And just like I predicted, they did for about 30 games and then we didn't see Zion since. Now I made a video a while back about Lonzo Ball and in the video I talked about that AAU basketball could have the possibility of ruining his health. And in the video I did name drop Zion and to this day I do believe that AAU basketball did have some part in him being injury prone. But this is the past we're talking about and I want to talk about what's going on today because there's a lot I got to say. Now earlier in the video I brought up the interview clip where Zion Williamson said he wasn't feeling like himself but I kind of want to dive into that a little bit more. Now what I think turned fans against Zion Williamson was the fact that he said physically I'm fine. Also the fact that he said I'll play when I feel like Zion again and that is starting to seem like Ben Simmons 2.0. But how bad would things need to be for Zion to be Ben Simmons 2.0? Because again as I compare these two situations they are eerily similar. I'm struggling to find a difference besides Zion is better. So as I'm actually doing research for this video I actually found out that he was clear to play. So physically he could play and I know we had proof of it from seeing it but on the injury report he was clear to play yet he didn't and he wasn't there for the biggest moment of the pelican season and it was because of him they lost that game and i know you could say oh but cj mccollum played like shit i mean a lot of fans were mad at him for a while but at least cj showed up and he did play the best he could and i know that's the most cliche shit i've ever said on this channel but at the end of the day if you're gonna at least show up i'll give you some props meanwhile zion has not done that at least with ben simmons the brooklyn nets are putting him on the injury report and they're just saying yeah he's injured at least we know that but ben simmons is not being cleared to play and he's just not saying oh well, i'm not going out there because i'm not ben from the pelicans i have to be frustrated at this point and i think the conversation needs to be had what is your future with zion because if i'm the pelicans and i'm building off of one player on this franchise it has to be brandon ingram some people might try to say cj mccollum but i just think cj mccollum is getting up there in age so you can't really build around him he'll be a great piece but he's not the main guy i think Brandon Ingram has to be that guy. And I know when both players are healthy, I'm gonna take Zion, but the difference is that Zion is never really healthy, and Brandon Ingram, well, he is healthy. From what I've seen, there is a possibility that the Pelicans could explore trading Zion Williamson, but what's funny is that they literally just signed an extension last offseason. Now, I'm not gonna really look into where he could go because there are so many factors that have to line up, and plus, I know everyone's gonna want me to save the Knicks. Now, I'm not saying you trade him this offseason because, again, he just signed an extension, but I think you wait a couple years. If in time Zion Williamson is showing the same tendencies and the same problems, well, I think you trade him. My only issue is that similar to Ben Simmons, when the Sixers waited too long, his trade value flopped. And I have a feeling if Zion continues to be injured, that his trade value is going to flop. Now, I'm seriously hoping that that doesn't happen to Zion because I love Zion as a player. In fact, I have his jersey literally hanging on my wall right now. And I don't want to see what happened to Ben Simmons happen to Zion Williamson because I think Zion has potential to be a great player. But the unfortunate reality is if he cannot stay healthy, it's not going to be good for him. Like I've said this entire video, we look at Ben Simmons and we look at the Zion situation and to a point they're exactly the same. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to look at the signs because when Ben Simmons got to his worst, it was too late. And there is a chance that Zion is possibly following in the exact same footsteps. And if you want to see how Ben Simmons got to the same point as Zion could be, I made a video about it. Go check it out.